In far northern California, you can find a place created when the earth turned violent. From a time when volcanoes ejected molten rock for countless miles. This is Lava Beds National Monument. Stories from the depths. It is often kind of funny how the past can be brought back to life when you understand a little bit about what you're looking at in this landscape. So when you're in lava beds, you'll often see little holes like this, little kind of cavernous areas. Ha, there's a lizard there. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's a lizard down there. Anyway, you'll often see these little holes in the lava beds. And these are things called lava tubes. These are areas where a lava flow hardened and left this kind of circular vent that lava would often flow through. So you would see this like solid surface above, but liquid magma would have been floating out in this direction through the tube. And they can get quite large. Some of the places I'm going to explore later today underground are giant lava tubes that you can actually walk through that are well over six feet tall. And others like this are significantly smaller but still a really cool part of the landscape out here. Not all of Lava Bed's wonders are above ground. Down into the earth, you can find ancient tunnels where lava once flowed in abundance. These walls were once melted rock. The stone tells its tales. It was kind of amazing just how huge these lava caves are. You know, see if it shows up in the other direction, but these things are easily double my height, anywhere from 10 to 14 feet tall. And then just all of this would have lava oozing through all throughout these tunnels. And so much time later, me with a headlamp and a hand lamp. Go explore and film it, bring it to life. In the next video, we explore the incredible human history of Lava Beds National Monument. Until then, wander in wonder. Yeah.